Wow. That is some good taco. Look how perfect it is. Don't talk with your mouth full. Hey guys, welcome back to another Fishing Webbers video. I wanted to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support. And you, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Click on the bell so that you don't miss any of our future content. In today's video, I will be making walleye tacos. <laughs> so about four weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, I think it's been four weeks. We went charter fishing with TJ Haster from Addicted Fishing for walleye and shad. And we caught three good sized walleyes. And I've been waiting to make some walleye tacos. I just love fish tacos and I think this fish would be perfect for it. Here's a short clip of the video when we caught the walleye. I will keep the link to that video in the description down below. Make sure to check it out. That was an awesome day. So here's the video and I'll be right back. So what do you got? Something heavy. Really? Yeah. Cool. There you go. There you go, guys. Nice. Beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> oh. Awesome, so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are the fillets, the walleye fillets that TJ Haster actually was nice to <laughs> fillet for us because I, I didn't know how to do it, so he offered it and it was really, really cool of him. Um, this is not all of the fish we got. I still have a bunch left in the freezer. I just defrosted a few pieces here. Here's a video of how TJ filleted the fish. It was super fast and he did a really, really great job. This fish is pretty much boneless. So let's watch it really quick and I'll come back. You've got the tools for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll say that no problem doing it if you want me to do it. It does take you two seconds, you're right. <laughs> Oops. Awesome. It's a lot of meat on it, huh? That looks great. Ooh, yummy. Can't wait to throw that on the fryer. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take a paper towel and just get the moisture. And then I'm just gonna cut it in um, smaller pieces. All right, so here I got like these size pieces. I think those are pretty good for tacos. At least one or two should fit nicely in there. So what I'm gonna do is um, season all of them. I'm using Himalayan pink salt. And then we're gonna add pepper. Just ground black pepper. Another thing I'm gonna use, I have these amazing spices. They are Moroccan, um, Moroccan Moorish blend. And these spices, they're just so great. I usually use them for trout and it just makes the fish taste really good. It has like cumin and nutmeg and makes like, brings up like this nutty flavor in the fish. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Oh, that's a little much. <laughs> Take that off. Kind of came out fast. What are you laughing on? <laughs> Jake is like cracking up. I'm trying to make a video here for you guys. Jake's like sitting on the couch and laughing at me. Jake, I'd be quiet over there. <laughs> okay, I think that looks good. Just gonna flip them over. Smells so good in here, you guys. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I can't wait to try it. All right, I'm 
I'm gonna turn on my stove. We're gonna be frying this. And I'm gonna be generous with olive oil because I want it to kind of be like a deep fry, but not really a deep fry because I don't have a deep fryer. So if you put a bunch of oil, then it's gonna be frying it from the sides as well. So I'm gonna put maybe half an inch, I don't know. I think that's, that's plenty. I mean, olive oil is not cheap, so it's better be good. All right, now we're just gonna wait for it to heat up. We want the pan to be nice and hot so that the fish doesn't stick to the bottom. While the pan is heating up, I'm going to cover the fish in flour. I'm just gonna dip it in the flour so it'll be nice and crispy. Whenever I cook fish, I always try to dip it in the flour because the flour just makes it taste great and it will help so that the fish doesn't fall apart. So that's one piece, just gonna sit on the side there. There's this wonky looking piece. So I'm gonna start putting fish in the pan. Oh, I'm probably gonna get covered with grease. Oh, no, it's not bad. Then it's gonna like sprinkle everywhere, but it's, it's okay. You want to make sure the fish floats in there. See how it floats? Can you see that? Yeah, I'll show it to you closer. See how it floats in here? You don't want it to be stuck to the pan. What What the heck is that? What is this? Good job, Alyssa. Great. I can't cook without making a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it over. Ah, why am I using this? That's better. Awesome. So a few more minutes and we should be ready to go. You guys, this is gonna be so good. It smells incredible in here. It kinda got smoky. I had opened up my window. So hopefully the smoke goes away soon. Yeah. But at least it doesn't smell fishy. You know, sometimes when you cook fish, you get like this fishy smell in your apartment or house and it's just terrible. So, so far it smells delicious in here. To my tacos, I like to add some coleslaw. Um, this is just shredded cabbage, you know, you can buy it at any store. And I like to add um, the cilantro dressing. It's super delicious, you guys. You can find it like Albertson, Safeway, probably Fred Meyer, whichever grocery store you have, look for cilantro dressing. It's super delicious, so, so good on tacos. So I'm just gonna mix it up with this, this lettuce and I, don't usually put too much. I also like to top tacos with these things. Have you guys tried these crispy jalapenos? Oh my gosh, these things are a little spicy, but with your tacos, they're so, so good. They kind of look like that, like little chips. They're really delicious with tacos. And of course, I'm gonna be adding some cheese. All right, let's do this. I already got lime. And a couple of my tortillas, and let's put some fish on it. I'll do something like that. Maybe break them off a little bit too. They're kind of thick pieces, so here. I'm gonna add some of this piece. What else do I have here? This piece looks good. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. 
Yeah. Wasting my time plating here. Yeah. I know you're hungry too, Jake. Hold on. I'm almost done with the video. I'm gonna eat in a little bit. Let's um I'm gonna add cheese first. Like that. Add some of this coleslaw on top. And the jalapeno. Yeah, I like to crumb them a little bit because they're kind of, some of them are big pieces. And just sprinkle on top. You can also add cilantro. I have cilantro, but I haven't chopped it up yet, but I'll just eat it without cilantro. There was cilantro in this cabbage too. I'm just going to add some of these jalapenos if you like it hot. I like it spicy. Oh, I forgot to put lime on it. Let's pick up some lime. Can't see that, but I am doing it. Okay, I really wanna try this. It's supposed to be so, so good. Look how cute that is. Get well taco. Let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spicy. <coughs> I don't have coronavirus. <clears throat> this is spices. <coughs> wow. That is some good taco. Hmm. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. It's super good. <laughs> mm. Look how perfect it is. Sorry. Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Look how flake it is. It's beautiful. I cooked it probably three minutes on each side. Once it starts to get brown on each side, just get it off. This fish cooks really fast. Want a taco? Fish taco, Jake. It's swimming towards you. <laughs> well, that was it for this video. You guys, if you're catching walleyes, don't let them go. They're really good. I also had bass tacos before. Bass tacos are pretty good, but walleye, man. There's no bones in it at all. Like it's not a bony fish. It's flaky. It's not smelly. It's so delicious. I would definitely recommend you guys try it. So that's it. This was it for our video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you know, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our future content. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.